hi guys welcome back to prospect channel tv thank you for always coming out here may god bless you all a human rights advocate Mike ujokuru has condemned alleged threats and defamatory comments against ifani ijefo a legal counsel to the leader of the indigenous people of biafra ipom mazi namdekano by Simeon Ekwa, describing it as offensive and unacceptable. In a statement by Ujo Koro, which was made available to Vanguard, he accused Simeon Ekwa of dishing out tissues of lies on social media through his blog about Ejefo and the IPOB leader for the purpose of relying Kano and the legal team. According to him, Simeon Ekba was quoted to have said on his YouTube channel that we have sacked DOS, DOS. AJ4 and the legal team have compromised. Both AJ4 and DOS are working for the Nigerian government. We don't take orders from anyone in the DSS dungeon, referring to Kano and mocking Kano's order to stop the seat at home. While describing Ejefo as a brilliant and courageous lawyer who has been endangering his own life defending Namdekano and thousands of Igbo young men and women, the activist noted that a few deformation suits would soon be filed in the court against Ekpa and his co traducers The statement read, Sir Ifani Ijefo and his team of lawyers have been defending Mazin Namdekano and thousands of others identified as bear friends in case in cases which more which most lawyers in Nigeria would not want to touch for fear of being targeted by the Nigerian government forces. There are video evidence and court judgments to show that EJ4 and many of his clients who have been identified as dangerous persons of Biafra have been victims of police brutality on many occasions. The most recent the, rose, the most recent one is the invasion of EJ4's residence at night. Shortly before Kano was kidnapped, left many with the conclusion that the attack was meant to scare away other lawyers from defending Kano if AJ4 is out of the way. With all this, I found the action of some gullible Igbo who are clapping over the threat against AJ4 as every offensive and unacceptable, as very offensive and unacceptable, I beg your pardon, as some Igbo persons. This fickle minded people with no emotional intelligence to decode a series of consistent lies and deceptions being sold to them by Ekba. Ujokuru also stated that Ekba has been planning to displace Mazin Namdekano and take over the leadership of IPOP, according to him. He has been launching attacks on Kano to achieve his singular purpose, but lamented that only the gullible would not see the deceit and lies in the information he has been dishing out. Simeon Ekbar has been lying the foundation to attack Mazin Namde Kano, and he is already doing so in such a constructive reverse psychological psychology by a number of his broadcasts on his YouTube platform where he said that Namdekano was going to end up like Ralph Wazurike and that he is the better anointed David than Kano whom he labored as saw. He also boasted that he has done what Kano has never done and that Kano needs him more than he needs him. 
He recalled how Simeon Igba insulted the Catholic Bishop of Enugu Diocese, Reverend Dr. Eloja, who had, through his spokesperson, tried to call Igba to order over the senseless and criminal enforcement of the seat at home, which Kano had ordered from the DSS detention that should stop. According to him, instead of Igba listening to the to the wise counsel from the bishop, he boasted that he would not take orders from anyone in DSS custody and that his own version of IPOP called autopilot was the original one. He lamented that Simeon Ekpa has been cashing in on Kano's ordeal to spring unfolded lies against the IPOP leader even as anybody that tries to call him to order was labelled as a traitor. Ojokuru also warned agitators of Ududowa Republic like Professor Banji Akintoye and Dr. Simeon Sunday Adeyomo to be very careful in dealing with some persons that parade themselves as autopilot and Biafran spokesmen adding that such names and positions only exist in the criminal world but non-existent in the actual Biafra independent restoration movement led by Namdi Kano. Accusing Simeon Ekpa of deceiving the teeming Igbo population that believes in the realization of Biafra, the rights advocate dismissed the comment by the self-acclaimed autopilot leader that Biafra will come in 122 days, time or less. I will be a fool if I don't have the, the inherent responsibility to ask the people how that will happen, the strategy and the process. This does not mean that we don't believe in miracles or understand the things of the Spirit. Yes, we do, but that is not the issue here. Simeon Ikba cannot be claiming that he would bring Biafra to reality in 122 days and at the same time calling for a conference to teach the Biafrans how to seek asylum in a foreign land that is in insanity he submitted. Okay guys, if I had it now, kindly